Hey all you addicts out there, welcome to another Addicted Tutorial here. I'm Jordan Kennedy. Today we're in the studio and we're sitting down with you guys talking about how to choose a bead. Bead fishing is talked about a ton lately and everybody wants to do it. And I know when we go into the hardware, or to the tackle store, excuse me, and we go to choose these beads at whatever we want, it can be extremely overwhelming. There's all ranges of sizes and colors and soft or hard. I'm gonna make it easier for you guys. I'm gonna break down and show you what's the standard, where to start, and then things that you could do to progress your bead fishing and, and move a little bit farther in colors and sizes. So first things first, we're gonna start here looking at our box. What I'm gonna do every day I go to the river or if I'm in the, the tackle shop looking, I wanna have a good range of colors. Range of colors I mean from pink all the way to hot orange, even red. So pink, orange, and red are gonna be your main contrast of, of egg colors or, or natural colors that go down the river. We have a peach color here as well, more of a dead egg, a natural color here. But having three styles of beads is, I would say, it would be crucial. Having different presentations that you can use in a hole or on a double setup so that the fish constantly has a different choice. My pink beads, I usually always like to fish on a clear day. If I have blue sky or any kind of clear weather, I usually range more towards pink. So sizes are very important. Having a good range of size of beads in your box is probably the most important part of it. Eights, tens, twelves, fourteens, sometimes even up to 16 millimeter beads can be extremely effective. The key is to have them in your box. You don't need a lot of each color, but try to have each of your favorite colors have three sizes of pink, have three sizes of orange, and have three sizes of red because there may be one day out there on the river that only one size of egg is gonna work. Having an egg that is a different, or a bead that is a different attractor to a different time in the spawning can be very important as well. So having three different sizes, having three different colors is crucial. Don't go in there and blow your money on all the same style of bead. Be sure to have that range and that variation of color and size. So. What I would start with always if I'm going to go up to the river and it's a clear day is a pink color. Whether it be a, a, a pink that has some sort of a blue hue to it, a light pink with more of a frosty look on it. And if the water is clear, I might go towards a smaller bead for a smaller presentation because clear water actually illuminates these beads to a, so that they have the illusion that they're actually bigger than they are when they're in the water and in front of the fish. What I like to do is start small and work my way up. The key is, especially if you have or are allowed to have a double setup on your river, is fishing two different sized beads, in my opinion. I might start with a 14 mil on my top hook and put a 12 or a 10 mil on my bottom hook so that I'm covering that size range. One thing I also like to do is use two different colors of beads at the same time, if possible. If not, I take this soft bead off, I change it to the different color, and I keep fishing in the hole. And you'll notice time and time again as you change and go through that variation of beads that you'll find success immediately after changing. So having that range, having three different sizes, having three different colors, and using each of them in a hole will up your game and allow you to catch a lot more fish on these beads. So the second most important part of using these beads is gonna be your hook choice. What I like to use is a number four size hook. We have one right here. These are some beautiful mustad hooks that we have. Number four, and I never really go above a size two hook. The times that I will go to a size two hook is if I'm gonna use 14 mil beads, and that's about the only time. If I'm fishing anything smaller than a 12 mil, six, eight, tens, up to 12s, I'm gonna use a number four hook so that that hook doesn't actually weigh down my presentation and drag that bead towards the bottom. When you have a number 14 or a 14 mil bead, why you want a, a two and the size two hook, excuse me, is so that when that bead, if it accidentally does slide down to that hook, you have a bigger hook gap and actually a larger hook that'll withstand the pressure of that bead sliding down onto that hook. So number four hooks, number two hooks are key for this style of fishing, be sure to have both of them in your pack if you're gonna be fishing anything over a 14 mil bead. Thanks for tuning in everybody. If you guys have any questions or you wanna learn more about the logistics of these beads, be sure to comment below and, and ask, ask some questions so that we can figure out what you guys wanna see, what you wanna learn, and if you can, find something that I didn't talk about. So be sure to comment below, like and share this video out there, subscribe to our YouTube channel guys because we have how to's coming out every day that'll make you guys a better fisherman. Stay fishy and we'll see you out there on the river.